14 so purchasing and inventory so now chapter 14 has what in it it has eight sections we're going to do all of them here uh, we're going to be talking about for example here the trade discount the net price for example if you get a trade discount how much will be the net price at the end and we're going to show how we're going to do the, the, the calculation of it so we could do a complementary method and the normal method so for example for section one we do the normal method this is a complementary method now when we go to section 14.3 uh, we determine the final price by uh, a series of trade discount for example i could give a discount once twice three times as many as i want so i need to find out a way of calculating this different trade discounts being given on a different pay on a different time zones for example uh, compute uh, we need to compute the cash price when uh, uh, the discount is based on ordinary dating and uh, this is we need to know the difference for chapter 14.4 and chapter 14.5 there's two different methods here something called ordinary dating okay and this is here the end of the month dating so this is not going to be explained now but you, you need to know that 14 and 15 are related to each other and then we're going to do the calculation of the balance of the inventory they're going to also we're going to be told the five one life four methods of computing inventory first in first out last in first out uh, and then uh, the last thing chapter 14.8 we're going to calculate the annual cost of carrying the inventory okay so now uh, sections they move like this you start with trade discount okay and this is a simple basic idea uh, you get a percentage here or here, for example there's 40 percent trade discount so you multiply the percentage by the price and you get a, t a total uh, trade discount you subtract it from the original amount so then you get the net price that's it it's an easy subject by the way but you know uh, interesting you should you should know that the second complementary uh, idea is for example if i'm as if i'm giving you a, a 40 percent discount that means you're actually paying 60 percent of the of the price so it's the same answer going to be like that one before but it's a sh faster way of doing it so i'm getting a 60 percent 40 percent discount that means i'm actually paying only 60 percent of the actual price so i would multiply 60 percent times this one i'll get the net price directly without knowing i don't need to know how much was the discount I don't need about the discount amount i need only the final price i care about how much i'm going to pay at the end definitely we, algebra is going to be involved so we're going to be doing algebra problems here with it uh, then we're going to be doing something called chain discounts chain discount is tricky at the uh, you know at the beginning you, you probably will not know how it works but then when you know how it works it becomes easy now uh, when i say when i give you a 35 percent and 20 percent and 15 percent it doesn't mean i'm going to be adding them all up so this would be unlogical for example i could give you uh, 40 percent in another 50 percent in another 30 percent that means i want above the 100 percent if i want to add them up that means i'm going to give you the product for free plus i'm going to give you extra money on top of it which does not make sense uh, here it actually means multiplication so when i give you 35 percent times 20 percent times 15 percent it's not it's not plus this is a common mistake that most students do so you need to be multiplying them not adding them so this is like like i said it's going to be done in class so don't worry about it um, that's what 14.3 and then we'll go from there after that we're going to go to the cash the discount, uh, discount ordinary dating we'll talk about it when we when we reach okay guys talk to you later bye bye